This scum-sucking dog will be evicted from my soul. Sherigorath, hear me. I'm coming for you. What's happening? What's this music? Where's this coming from? Oh God, no! Make it stop! This is humiliating! Walk in this bitch. I stay in me. All my saints rock that Gucci. Walk in this bitch. I stay in me. All my seducers rock that queen. We are here with Buck Rageclaw. And uh, that was an interesting experience. The god of madness still has a hold over Buck. And uh, hey, there's a little chortle. Before we get into it, let's talk to this seducer. Uh, I had some questions about the exile. I will share what I know. Tell me about the Apostles of Light. The Apostles of Light are a heretical cult that broke into open rebellion during the last Grey March. They believe Lord Sheogorath abandoned madness itself in the face of Jigalag's attack. This is, of course, a lie, but what matters is that the Apostles believe it. Now they rage against his influence, even from their prison. They're unpredictable, even for the Isles. Their prophet, Sieta, was killed, and her eye was taken from my lord's staff. Mm. The Apostles must hear enough of Sieta's heresy in Thoron's words to declare him their new prophet. All right. Tell me about the Priests of Order. The Priests of Order followed Jigalag, the Prince of Order, and Sheogorath's nemesis during the last Grey March. Many of them turned to his side simply to survive. When they failed and were cast out of the Mad God's Sanctuary, they rededicated themselves to the Prince of Order, hoping to find belonging. They wait for him to return so they can rejoin him. As you saw, Thoron wields the sword of Jigalak, a relic of the Prince of Order. The priests seem to have taken it as a sign of his worthiness. Interesting. What is a flesh Atronach? Yeah, I'm Buck would sort of know about that, but not fully. A horrific construct made of elemental flesh. The priests stitch together each one from the choicest cuts of several different bodies and bind a lesser daedra to the finished form. They should be engaged only with great caution. That's what uh, Velen Indriel makes, um, the Blood Knight. I'd like to ask you something else. Of course. Uh, apparently Farewell. not. All right, so what can we grab? A cup? Uh, Heart of Order, sure. Yeah, I have to remember we're very low on space. So let's see. Where do we need to go? Return to st Stadia? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Um, let's use some of this time to kind of explore. We have our chortle with us, so um, things should, whoa! And she's gonna help us. So let's take advantage of that. Let's drink some water though, some agua. And uh, let's move forth. All these little prisms, prisms, prisms of uh, like these shards that are jutting out of the rocks. I think it's from uh, Jigalak, which is a really weird name, but <clears throat> it, Jigalak sounds sillier than Shergorath. Shergorath sounds like an ancient Lovecraftian entity. Jigalak sounds silly, yet Jigalak is the god of order. Um, some say he might be the most powerful out of the Daedra. Some. Who do I think is the most powerful? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, I don't know. Mer Meru's Dagon is pretty darn powerful. You know what? We're just gonna. Uh oh. 
Where? What? Ooh! Okay. There's something over there, too. Oh, shoot. I need to be really careful. Oh, no, 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 no. We must have hit her. Oh, I know what happened. The uh, turtle hit her with the... Uh, Stop, 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 stop. It's, it's shooting a fury spell. And so, it's just, this is chaos. Let's see if we can take out the chortle. Do we kill it? Okay. She might, oh shoot, she might calm down. Uh, do we have something to heal? Let's see. I think we do. Cure wounds, yes. Okay, not didn't do much. But hopefully. Where is she? Okay. Let's get the uh it's called a beater. Germite beater. Take him out. And we need for that fury spell to wear off. So we're gonna let her pelt at that thing. Hopefully, we're good? Are you still mad at me? Yeah, she's ticked. See the red aura? Oof. Let's just run. See what this thing has. Run, 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 run. I imagine she hits pretty dang hard. We might have to re restart, but... Oh, good. Okay. We're good? You good? I really like this the way that the uh, seducers look. Okay. So, we'll, uh, I'll have to note to be careful with the turtles. Plate. Madness ore. Alright. Well, that sucks. I don't know what was over there, but I killed it. Alright, keep up with me. Is would Buck be the type to call someone darling? I feel like. You know, I find it a little condescending. I mean, he's kind of old school in that way. Keep up, darling. <laughs> I don't think he means it in a rude way. Maybe he does. Maybe he's not concerned about being rude. Everything in uh, the Elder Scrolls universe is like a... Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, let's save that. Hangman's Venom. Ooh, that could come in handy. You know what? We're going to save a lot of the poisons. Because I think we can take them on. And it seems like I'm going to need a lot of them for what we're going to be doing. In oh, no. There's like a mage. No, it's a flesh not. Come on. Oh, crap, 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 crap. And then we have another archer. Where, 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 where? I don't see the archer. Wow. Okay, I need to save. We're getting ambushed pretty good. Oh, it's Thorin. And there's the archer too. We don't have any health potions, so. Let's take him out. Where's that archer? Okay, let's get some... Uh, Drink some holy water. Okay. And then where's Thorin? There he is. Oh, crap. Um, shoot. I don't know if there's anything we can really do. 
so I just support her. Oh, he's coming at us. He's coming at us. Come on. No. Oh, crap. What is going on? Why would Thorin be over here? Is it, is it that he's hunting us? I don't know. This might be a glitch. Crap. We gotta get somewhere. We have the high ground. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take the priest out. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm gonna save or reload. Cause that sucked. I don't know why Thorn would be out here. Take out the one that she's fighting. There. Got him. And then there's an archer. Ooh, man, I'm really gonna have to thread the needle on that. Okay. And I do have Hawkeye, I think. Yeah. And I think I'll need it for this. Okay, hey, there he is. Okay, got him. Okay. Come on. Got him. Oh, shoot. All right. Let's see. Switch it up. Oof. Okay, run. Am I crouching? No. Uh. Where's he going? In the back. Oh, crap. Going back up. I don't know what's going on with this. Ooh, this is tough. We're gonna keep trying though. Did the victor go to the spoils? Where is Thorin? Okay. There's this guy. Oh jeez, run, 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 run. Okay, I need to get my stamina up. Come on. Stay off me. Crap, he is. They are after me. Okay, one more good shot. Should do it. Alright, I'm gonna save. See what's going on with Thorn. Do I still have Hawkeye favorited? Yes. Okay, let's let our stamina get up. Boy, do I need stamina with this character. Crap. Okay. Bob and weave. All right. So what's going on? Can I talk to him? I don't know. He's looking really cool looking though. All right, we're just gonna keep going. Are we supposed to, still supposed to go over there? Yeah. He has Jigalax sword, so apparently he's an immortal. Ugh. Let's just go run, 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 run. It sucks too, because I can't use my turtle. I guess I could have. Also, let me know if you know, if you know, you know, if that was a glitch. I wonder if she... 
Hello. No, she's not gonna. Farewell. She's not gonna say nothing. Good thing you're pretty. <laughs> All right. We getting close? Yeah. balls okay uh, I just want to see something with archery um, yeah I'm just gonna be dumping perks into our archery skill because boy do we need them I really did come unprepared unfortunately well, it is what it is it is what it is Alright, I think we're in the right spot. Let's save just in case the world breaks and I start crying, weeping, weeping and gnashing of teeth. You guys want to get a little closer? Tell me, how does Thorin and the Exiles plot fare? Have you learned anything new? His rambling gave me some sense of his plan. He intends to take control of the roof and use it to break through the walls. Impossible. Only the Mad God. It's possible, Stark. Hmm. The root is the this is annoying. Uncovered an obelisk of order. He's made himself a lair deep within the root, hidden under the falls. The perfect place to carry out his plan. Then we must travel there at once and slay him before he escapes. If it were that simple, I'd do it myself. Yeah. He's constructed an amber barrier to seal off the entrance. There's no way inside. Not unless we carve one out ourselves. Okay, uh, let's eat a little bit. I don't really have much food-wise. In order to break through Thorin's barrier, we will need a powerful weapon tied to the Isles. Nothing else is strong enough to shatter pure amber. Where, where can we find this weapon? Like, uh, where can we find a weapon like that? One such artifact, the Hammer Nerve Shatter, was sealed away in the ruins of Borgo long ago. Search the ruins, destroy any exiles you see, and bring it to us. It should prove strong enough in even your mortal hand. Jeez, dude, this lady is so condescending. Is there anything else I can do? Dylora may have learned more of Thorne's plans than she would deign to share with me. You should speak to her. All right, I'll go find a suitable weapon. Waste no more time. Thorin's power over the root grows the longer we delay. You know, you can do something. You know, for condescending mortals so much, I'm doing all the work. Greetings. Uh, Sidrara said you might have some idea on how to weaken Thorn's forces. Yes, I think I might. The Exiles are a collection of two different groups. The Priests of Order and the Apostles of Light. Thoron keeps them in line. It's a very fragile alliance. They spent centuries here fighting each other. There is no love lost between them. If you were to make it look like the priests and apostles betrayed each other, it might break their truce. Thoron would lose his little army to infighting. Hmm, interesting. 
How would I go about framing the priests and the apostles? Both groups have been working on ways to build up their strength. If we sabotage those efforts and frame the other group, it might drive them apart. Steal a soul tomato from the Apostles' Grove on the coast, and void essence from the priest's laboratory in Stopgap. Burn down the laboratory and the grove, and leave each item at the other group's location to make it look like sabotage. What is a void essence? Void essence is the essence of the void. <laughs> Thanks, that's super helpful. I don't find that particular. Okay, yeah, I agree. You're a mortal. You wouldn't. Fair enough. What is a soul tomato? The apostles grow them. Quite ingenious, though depraved. They've taken the necromantic bindings that tie souls to soul gems and altered them to bind the soul to a plant instead of a crystal. Through this process, they can grow a limitless supply of soul vessels for their enchantments. Though they still rot, unlike gems, which has stopped soul <gasps> tomatoes from widespread use by the comparatively sane. Are soul tomatoes fruit or vegetables? <laughs> this is no laughing matter, mortal. Pray your soul does not end up inside one. This is this is madness. Like <laughs> Thorin's rocking by. She's talking about soul tomatoes, which I like that. That's an in interesting idea. It's silly, but it's interesting. What is flesh at or not? You already said that. A horrific. The priests stick. Yeah, you already they told me that. Engaged. I'll see what I can Good do. Luck, outsider. We must um, this. It's getting late. So I'm yes. thinking. So be it. Let's rest by the fire. Um. Do we have a, our little cot? Then we'll wake up, we'll have ourselves a cigar in the morning. Oh, you know what? Oh no. Okay, let's sleep. Let's wake up a little bit early. Um, maybe five? We'll just see how light it is. I don't like traveling by night. Okay, good. It's not bad at all. Okay, let's eat. A little bit more. Shroom beetle broth. What does shroom beetle broth taste like? Um, I imagine uh, it probably tastes kind of like a mix between shrimp and then like ch chicken soup it's got that type of consistency okay and uh buck liked it strange argonian retrieve the treasure oh yeah that's right okay so what did retrieve the treasure from the drowned ruin i think we might do that We do need upgrades. You know, uh, Buck, I would say, has some pretty powerful friends. Uh, he has a demigod friend who is uh, Titus Dorn. And then he also has um, Buck, not Buck, uh, his brother. Uh, whoa, whoops. He also has his brother, uh, Bu or, or Savak, sorry. So, maybe they can help him somehow beyond, you know, even though they're not here. We'll see. Okay. Or in the laboratory. We kind of want to do this to check this treasure room. Uh -oh. What? 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 Where? Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 That wasn't good. Jeez. Freaked me out. 
Okay. And we are bad shape. See, this is, this is what I do enjoy playing these very average, you know, no super powered characters because everything is a lot more challenging. They don't, they can't summon anything. They don't have special buffs. You know, they just have their abilities. Um, let's see. So I think we need to go inside there, but let me just double check. Um, so like if I was doing this with Savak, for instance, he would, he has a ton of powers. His werewolf ability is a lot of stuff that he can fall back on. Titus too, Valen, Buck does not. Well, that's strange. Okay, let's take... He, we can't even heal in an interesting way. So it looks like we have to go behind here. Empty bottle. Okay, I'll take that. So is it? Huh. Tell me to burn this place? I actually didn't want to do this yet. Yeah, I wanted to head over there. We'll start with that stuff later. Can I sneak by? Yeah, I can. Good. Whoa, look at this. It's very like, hit. It looks like the hist. This big gnarled looking root. Okay. Crap. I'm assuming this is where we needed to go. So this is that quest for that Argonian. Why are we doing that? I think he wanted to give me something. Uh, a strange Argonian in the marsh has offered to teach me how to smith madness or in exchange for truth. Yeah, heck yeah. He'll give us a big fancy gun if we do that. A madness or gun. Oh, this feels very... <gasps> It was very Oblivion-esque. Okay. Just get a bead on everything. Oh, yeah, this is so stressful. Okay. Shivering Oz? Sure. Be prepared for war. Okay. That blood? Yeah, it is. Anything else? Okay, so this is like a little tower. Okay. Let's see. Retrieve the treasure of the drowned ruin. So we're gonna I'm gonna turn off this and then it says it's Right down there? It's not this fire, is it? No. Okay. By the way, uh... Happy Halloween. I know. What the? I'm not getting close. Or Halloween might have already passed for you guys, but... Still. Oh, uh, shoot. All right. I think I'm going to call this an episode for now. Uh, yes. Some health potions. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, Buck, Rage Club, we'll see you all soon. And I thank you for watching. Uh, you guys are all awesome. Uh, later, Gators.